Sophie Blackall and I'm an illustrator. I'm doing a series of drawings for the Measles and, and Rubella initiative. Ten posters which will be interrelated to raise awareness and um, hopefully raise some money too uh, for um, the, the ongoing eradication of measles um, worldwide. posters uh, to do with a, a recent trip to the Congo. It was really how best to tell the story, uh, which in this case is the, the story of everybody involved in the, the whole process of, of immunisation and, um, and vaccinating, finding the children, letting the villagers know when the immunisation campaigns are happening, all the way back to planning the campaigns to getting the vaccines to the countries, to keeping them cold and the chronological timeline of making that happen and all of the people who are involved along every step of the way. Sometimes they're the unsung heroes, the, the people who walk you know, miles and miles and through difficult terrain to carry uh, the vaccines to the villages in remote places and, and who keep it cold and, and keep it safe. Never having been to Africa and then to set foot in the Congo was, uh, was an extraordinary... Um, shock seems like the wrong word, but it was quite shocking. We met dozens of families who had been affected by measles and had lost children. Um, even one, the chief of a village, uh, his daughter had died just uh, a few days before we went to meet with him. And so that really brought it home dramatically. People were, were warm and wonderful and um, responsive and they all knew about the threat of measles. It was something that was very, very real to them. And, um, and it was so important for me to see that because it's something that was very much an abstract idea for me. There's something about drawing where you can represent something and it, and it speaks to more people in a way rather than a photograph which is about one person's story. Um, at least that's how I see it. And it, so it feels like an opportunity to tell a story which will hopefully make a lot of people see, see the possibilities for themselves in that story, whether it's, uh, whether it's through helping in some way or whether it's through getting their own children immunised. I begin with tiny thumbnail sketches of, uh, of what that particular illustration, what particular part of the story I want to tell with, um, with that. And then I will um, draw up a sketch, a loose sketch, um, on tracing paper. And then I kind of put layers of tracing paper and each sketch gets refined and then until I'm fairly happy with that. And then I send that off to everybody who needs to look at it and make sure they're all um, okay with it and make whatever necessary little changes. And then I trace that onto watercolour paper. And then I use um, a Chinese ink stick which I grind on a stone to, and mix with a little water to make the Chinese ink and um, paint the tone in, in the greys and blacks. And then when that's dry I put watercolour over the top in washes and build up layers of colour. all the partners involved in the measles and rubella initiative. I hope that these posters will, will facilitate their work, will help um, raise the funds they need to carry on the, the immunisation of children all over the world um, and to help specifically in the Congo where uh, measles does continue to be an epidemic um, and to, to create awareness um, in the Western world too and to see how we can all help um, in whichever way we can, even getting our own children immunised. Mm -hmm.